Good morning. It is Monday, November 14th. I had to look at the date. Oh, we're getting close to Thanksgiving and it's time to look at the Albuquerque home data that came in over the weekend. This is the, the latest dated data on homes for sale in the Albuquerque area. So what we're looking at is real time trend of of the homes that are on the market and I'll, I'll explain a little bit as we go through i do this well just about every week once in a while sometimes i miss it but anyway here's a here's a weekly update because we are coming into the quote slow season for real estate and you know we've got thanksgiving coming up and it's going to be interesting to see how these things that we're looking at today shift over the next few weeks so first and foremost i've got my brand new advanced analytic dashboard from Altos Research, it's on beta right now, and so I'm really, really thrilled to have this. And what we're looking at here is a number of homes, single family detached homes in the greater Albuquerque area that um, either we've got two things, or we've got new uh, total inventory, total number of supply of homes on the market, uh, as well as the number of new listings coming on the market. The black line here, it's uh, in, in, in this case, I've got it broken down by a 90 day moving average just because there's so many variations. So this gives us a pretty good idea of, of where we've been and how, kind of an idea of where it looks like it's going right now. So this week we're we, we've kind of plateaued on the number of homes on the market and it's kind of flattened out. And so uh, the 90 day average is right around 1300. The 90 day average of new homes coming on the market is about 180. And what we've seen here in the last few weeks, we continually do see uh, homes coming on the market and not as many going off the market. That's very different than we've had over the last few years, really going all the way back to 2019. Every week, or yeah, I'll say every week, but let's say in a moving 90 day average, we had homes coming on the market and then more going off the market, meaning selling. And that's really what put us in this uh, deficit of homes for sale. And you can see back here during the pandemic, we had a big dip in the number of homes coming on the market, which then drove the number of homes on the market way down. If we go back to 2019, same time, we were at 2300 just for comparison. And today we're at uh, 1200. So we're still, I think it's about 40% less this year versus 2019, but about 30% more than last year 2021 let's look at some let's dig into some pricing numbers this is kind of deep dive territory here i don't i don't want to overdo it but i just want to give some perspective on where homes have uh, home prices have been what we're seeing right now and this might tell us a little bit about the future so if we look at just as just a, a one-year trend of median home price and median price of new listings because as homes come on the market and uh, people start pricing them lower, that's going to tell us that uh, home prices are probably going to drop in the future. And what we've seen, and this is a seven day average, so there's a lot of variation here. The green line is the median price of new listings. We had this, you know, peak back here in uh, April, May, which is which is very common uh, seasonally to see that. And then since this peak we had in uh, May, let's say June, I mean, we kind of peaked out in sale prices in May, but list prices peaked out here back, well, beginning of May. Yeah, and it, it's pulled back slightly, um, but we haven't seen this nosedive like uh, other markets around the country. There are some markets, what they're calling frothy markets like Phoenix, Boise, uh, Austin, uh, some of the California markets where where home prices appreciated really, really fast, even faster than here. And they are seeing a steeper pullback um, this year. Right now, we've kind of more or less been flat since that time. We did have a big dip in the list price uh, just last week, and it's come back up a little bit. But again, not uncommon this time of year. And let's look at that from a more long-term trend standpoint. So now we're going back to 2017. We've got average price per square foot and we've got median price. Now, if we look at average price per square foot, you'll see over the years it, um, you know, you've got those variations. You've got seasonal variations. It goes up in the spring, tops out sometime in the summer, midsummer, April or May, April, June, usually somewhere in there. Um, and then it uh, pulls back. And in 2020, we had a pretty steep pullback in the median price here The you can see in the green line. Um, even in 2018, we had a peak. It pulled back uh, 
to this time of year, you'll notice that usually the valley is somewhere right around this time of year. Uh, there's a kind of anomaly there, and I don't know what that was in 2020. Um, and then this was uh, last year, and then we've, we've gone up and up, and then now we've pulled back. Price per square foot has stayed pretty flat, and uh, median price has dropped. Now, price per square foot overall is a better overall gauge of overall appreciation depreciation because it kind of very it takes out some of the variations you get when you have a lot of uh, expensive homes or a lot of uh, inexpensive home on the market um, and this again this goes back to the initial first chart we were just looking at but this is the median price versus the median price of new listings and you can see this now what I did on this one just for fun not for fun because we lived through this 2008 what was happening was uh, prices would drop into the summer, dropped even more into the winter, dropped again. We didn't have that seasonal uh, spike that we generally get in the springtime. Um, and really that didn't shift until about 2012 when things started to kind of come back up and we had a much bigger spring run up in prices, um, pulled back, run up, pull back, run up, pull back. You know, and, and, and you can see that trend continues every year. The curious thing for us to watch here is uh, if this pullback in both median price of uh, homes on the market as well as median price of new listings start to, uh, continues to decline or if we've we've hit our bottom per se not that it's really changed that much we really just plateaued but is it going to continue down or are we going to stay flat my guess is it's going to stay flat through december um and I, I i at this point based on what i'm seeing going on in the markets and of course interest rates is the huge variable um Good news on interest rates on, on Friday, or no, that was Thursday, uh, oh, oh, over a half a percent uh, drop in mortgage rates last Thursday. Today, they're just kind of uh, steady, not, not a big change there. So anyway, a lot of info there. Any questions on real estate, give us a shout. Venturi Realty Group, Keller Williams Realty, Albuquerque, 505-448-8888.